What's up, everybody? Obviously, it's a little different. It's your host, Matt Lilly, here. We're doing what been a, a 20 minute rampage with you. But, uh, we're going to give you some live reaction. Before it goes, the first dance could be crazy. Uh, I have, of course, Wild Thing Mike Despezo. I got Jeff Hitman Hall. I got the man D White here with me. Um, this is a show? Oh, yeah. This is this is my review. This is my review show. Oh, so, okay, okay. Here. <laughs> oh sorry, sorry, sorry. My no, bad. I didn't mean that. Here's my thing. I am. Uh, the just announcements right up. Okay. Let's get start off with the announcement. <laughs> oh God, my Wi-Fi is fucking up. <laughs> With the big announcement, uh, Jim Ross taking the place for Jericho tonight. Uh, we have Cargill versus Kira Hogan. Apparently, this is Kira Hogan's uh, biggest crowd she's ever in front of. Um, this is also one of three shows that have ever sold out this arena. All right. Oh my God, this is loud. <laughs> I don't like the four-man booth. God, this cannot actually be him. There's no way to just... <laughs> Here we go. All right. <laughs> Babe. <I'm so> <laughs> oh Holy <my> fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. He's, he's I real have, swear. Uh, Guys, he's, he's not going to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to in my eyes. He don't have you know, to. He looks like he's about to cry. I have oh goosebumps. My God. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone shut up just in case Brian, Brian's coming in late. <laughs> Cod, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Rampage uh, recording here. Yeah, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I'm like, Zoom call? What the fuck's going on? And uh, I was like, oh, they're starting off with this. Okay. You, uh, you're watching live, right? Well, you know what just happened, right? Yeah. Well, I see that. I see that Jeff and I are in the same club right now. So, <laughs> why does his shirt say Larry? Oh, he always has like band T-shirts and everything else. Also, isn't Larry Brody Lee's guy? Could be. You know what? Is Larry. Oh my God! Jim Montgomery is in here. <laughs> I hope they get Mike. And say, <laughs> "Wow, oh hey, uh, hey, Jim! Well, welcome to the rampage uh, live reaction. How you feeling? Welcome, buddy? welcome to shirts off What's with up? CM Punk. What's up? <laughs> so uh, this dude's um, crying on live TV. He's, I mean, so, dude, so, been, this the whole thing on live been, TV. Is this not the biggest pop of wrestling of the last eighteen months? Like." <laughs> This is surreal. 24 months, three years, fucking five years. I don't know. Like, I think I'm not even a punk it. guy, and this is sick. Uh, I am a punk sick. guy, and this yeah, is where's sick. Jeff? Jeff, fuck <laughs> being punk. I'm just kidding. Oh, no, this, no, is, I mean, this is tight. This is tight. I was hyped as shit about it like an hour ago, showing like, all YouTube videos. I'm like, this is who CM Punk is. She's like, I don't care. I'm like, you will I, care. <laughs> like I've always said, good, bad, or indifferent. Like it's wrestling. If you don't like a guy, you don't like a guy. That's no. I'm not gonna argue with that. That's fine. Guys, but but for the diehards, this was all we had forever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. God, it's Brock Lesnar. I also guy. feel Go like if hell. you don't like a guy, he's doing his job. <laughs> of course, it's Brock Lesnar so. guy. <laughs> you see, you see Brock Lesnar guy next to him. What a fucking okay. dickhead. <laughs> yeah, you know we're recording, right? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Nah, I, Jeff, you, I like, I like, I like to say, hey, my, we'll go, my bad. <laughs> post. Like, you guys, 
It's my ass tonight. I ain't got nothing, man. Oh no, this is this is just gonna go live. Mm. I'm just gonna post it. Oh. This this is how oh. we're doing this. Honestly, this might not make it to 20 minutes because the surprise is there. It's here. It's just so wild. Like okay, so like we knew. We knew this was happening, but to actually see it, like, is so surreal, honestly. You know, well, I try again, not to give into the work, you know? I know Jeff's, like, probably about to cry, but... <laughs> no, 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 but, no, but again, like, I blast him, and I give credit where credit is due. Hats off to AEW for not jumping the shark and, no, and like, like, letting things be the way they're supposed to be. And it's not because of CM Punk, it's with anybody. If anybody was in yeah. this set spot, like, you, you, you do it this way. That's the right way to do it. You just do it, and you get it over with no we know better or wait till next week or I have a better idea. Yeah. No, just let it go. So just I guess he it. owned the rights to his song or like yeah. Tony Khan bought him. Cause that was the other surprise. I was like, okay, so he's got his most iconic track too. Well, 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 um, Dwight, I'm sure you know this and I'm sure everybody else knows this too, but when he was, le- you know, going to leave the WWE, like, for, like for real, for real. Um, Cornette was saying, Cornette was, Cornette said when he saw when he came back and he had, um, you know, like, like licensed music. He he was like, he's like, I knew Punk took Vince for everything because Vince hate, hates to license music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh my god! All right, so uh, for your immediate reactions from the Twitter. Uh, oh. Yeah. AEW. Um, now that's a pop. Folks, this is a by God folk hero. <laughs> like goosebumps have goosebumps right now. CM Punk is all elite. He's got a Larry sweatshirt on. The same thing I said. Could have fooled me that Punk isn't a. For those of you who don't know, Roman Reigns recently said in an interview that uh, Punk was not uh, over to the level of Cena or The Rock. He's right. I don't want to submarine this podcast, so or this show. So I, I <laughs> say this. I think it depends on who you're asking. I say that's that's a debatable statement. I will tell you right now that in 2011, CM Punk was the biggest thing in professional wrestling. Yeah, you're right. It's 2020. Well, it's 2021 now, and. He also just got the biggest pop in 2020. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> First right. thing I said was like, "Is so, this the biggest pop in like 18 months, a year, whatever?" Oh my god! All right, get yeah, ready. Right. Welcome back to wrestling. I'm going to be the fifth commentator for AEW. There we go. <laughs> Joel, we go. Would that be it? Oh. Like, just no more AEW at that point? It's like, you son of a bitch! Oh. If you don't hit somebody. <laughs> also, I'm not. I'm. I'm not watching this Miz and Mrs. Rip off. I don't know what the hell talking about, but all right, right. everyone, no. everyone, shut up! So I want to hear what he has to say. Call <laughs> to live mic at the top. How much longer do we give till he starts crying <laughs> again? He already did twice. Again <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> He's so good on the mic. So good. Uh. Now, turn and be healed right out the gate, please. Why? Because <laughs> he's a better heel than he is. Well, I guess he's actually good either way, but I don't know. My own selfish reasons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think everybody's a better heel always, but he's so over that he's going to be like the You're heel right. that the fans still love anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, he's always been Stone Cold-ish, kind of. Yeah, the Stone Cold was basically a bad guy the whole time, so, I mean, I guess The Rock really was, too. Because I didn't know how I was going to feel, but I knew that I needed to feel it. Yeah, we start crying here. 
Uh, now we have to watch this program. <laughs> uh, look, I'm just waiting for him to uh, undo his hoodie to show off his new AEW Best in the World shirt. Yeah, I need to queue up. I need to queue. I need to go on there right now, actually. <laughs> Oh my god, he's talking to Pat right now. Tell him fuck off. Or sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Possibly for me, the most important thing I'm going to say right now, this is for everybody at home. This is for everybody who bought a ticket. This is for everybody in the back. All through my journey, any of my personal choices or decisions related to my life. Uh, that a sign, too. Again, okay, never forget like that Puck was on this before everybody. Before it was... Let me just say, in the Vogue. reports were that he was... In as good of a shape as he ever was, uh, especially the people who worked with him on heels. Understand that I was never going to get healthy physically. The shirt's up. His stuff is up. Spiritually or emotionally. Oh, yeah. Come on by, God damn it! What are we doing here? <laughs> In the first place. Y'all know me. One for one for the closet, one to wear. Yep. I like the <laughs> I was there. That's great. Oh he palm palm of his hands. He could say that he did the London bombings and he was still gonna <laughs> Muhammad Hassan, we miss you. Yeah, um, you can purchase. Hold on, Pat's calling me. Hold on. Dad, <laughs> yeah, t- tell him I went to answer the phone and it stopped ringing. I guess what out on his back. He is like trying not to cry while he is talking. All right, I'm back. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm sorry. And I knew where I was going. It wasn't going to be easy for a guy like me. Because I'm like you. So I look at it like this. August 13, 2005. I left professional wrestling. That reference to Coke Cabana. Scores to settle. We are getting right to it. So 
I think I'm ahead of you guys. Shit's happening. <laughs> yeah, it is. God, he's so good. Oh, that fucking cocksucker. Darby asshole. God, we still recording. <laughs> yep. God, just squash this guy. Like, oh? I, don't, don't do this to me. He's not going to. It's got to be a thing. Oh, my God. This, yeah, it's definitely happening all out. Darby Allen looks like he's trying not to cry. Yo, imagine being the guy. The rest of the return match for CM Punk. Where's it all? Where's lot? Where's all out Nevada? It's in Chicago. It's in Chicago. All out in Chicago. There's nothing you can do that is more dangerous than wrestling CM Punk. Uh, I think their website is like. Uh, I'm sure, I am sure that their website has crashed. All right, so I know we're live, live recording. Everybody's like, "Oh, oh, what did you say about that?" Wait one so great. Guys, it's 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 not that he's not a great in in ring talent. Okay, <laughs> just the way he's constantly booked is very very questionable on a week to week basis. Who? Darby? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, that's not going to matter in like two weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah, Darby Allen's going to lose to CM, CM Punk. Punk train's going to roll over. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to lose to CM Punk. <laughs> CM Punk ain't coming back for the first time in seven years to lose immediately. Oh. But also, <laughs> but also, everyone get a free ice cream bar on CM Punk here in the United Center. <laughs> Time to wait for somebody. I appreciate everybody here who is winning. Still don't think he's on the face of the program or on the face of the collector cups. At Derby Allen, yeah, I can't really cut loose on this show, but good Lord, I already just... did. So <sighs> I'll be real. I honestly think I'm about to stop recording this because this this was this was rampage. I'm sorry. Just give me some great. Oh, so off. It's good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You just you turn this thing off so we can just cut loose on this whole thing. <laughs> but this is this is about CM Punk. This is about CM Punk. Where are the ice cream bars at? Where can I get those at? Exactly. Is, is that, that what's in the United seen? Center? <laughs> I in a box to eat in a box of freeze forever. Guys, this mm-hmm. was a an impromptu <laughs> uh, live reaction to CM Punk's return. Back, he's back. Oh my God, they've already got him. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. Because it's it's a right to print money. Oh we yeah, are gonna buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now your boy's your boy's is, already two shirts and two towels deep here. Once this thing loads up, here is <laughs> my follow up. <laughs> How quick are we gonna see ratings drop for this show after? Well, no, because I'm gonna do it by the hour. Hey, I want to know. <laughs> you did everything right. The whole last. I told you he would be here, and it was the. I said it like ten times on here. Jade Jade Cargo almost broke that girl's neck on dark. Holy smokes! See that? Uh, because because she can't work. <laughs> okay. Break my neck. Hey, you keep, you keep my girl Jade's name out your mouth. I, go back, go back and watch it. Tell me I'm wrong. What? Tell you maybe she should have sold better. When did also, w- Jurassic Express is with Cage now? Also, Christian now? Oh, Jeff, you are so behind. Yeah, they've they've been off and all work <laughs> working together for a few weeks now. Okay. They've had mutual respect since the last pay per view when Jungle Boy and Christian, were the Christian last retained his title about an hour ago, <laughs> which was which was obviously taped. But. Oh. 
Um, should someone tell Brock yeah. Lesnar guy that affliction shirts aren't in anymore? So the, I, I can't stand, stand this fucking guy. Express. I genuinely think Jurassic Express is about to win. We'll find out. Honestly, I'll probably post um, in the in the description down below um, the rest of my opinions on how the rest of the show goes. But uh, I'll be real, guys. Yeah, we're gonna stop recording because that that was CM Punk. CM Punk's officially back in professional wrestling, guys. How you feel? Um. Yeah, yeah ordinarily. Right. How do you feel? You, me? I feel like. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. Um, I mean, it's it's been a long time coming. Like you said, I'm glad he's in, a, you know, a good space. I mean, I, I kind of, well, I didn't think this was going to happen. I figured he was coming back. I just, I, I knew it was WWE. So I didn't know if it was going to be per Ring of Honor or per, I guess, be, you know, way before even AEW was a thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I figured it'd be either a, a Ring of Honor or New Japan. Right. What do you think? Summer of Punk, man. We're doing it over. I like what he said. He left in 2005. Wild thing. I know you were getting goosebumps earlier. Talk to me. Mike, you there? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... um. <laughs> That what he said, like Dwight said, what he said that he left wrestling in 2005 and now he's back. That really sticks out um, for what he thinks about this company as a whole. And I mean, I my goosebumps had goosebumps. I was ready for this. I mean, I'm excited to see where it goes. Jim, you're not, not frequent that you're on the show, man, but you're here. Yeah, you know, this was one of those moments where I figured uh, I couldn't be absent, even though my phone's on like 3%, but I had to make a count. Um, I'll be honest to me, this is bigger than punk. Like not that AEW wasn't already like legitimized, but this one? to me puts them on such a higher tier. The... I'll buy that. Like as a draw is everything because, you know, even like his pipe bomb, like promo where he was talking about, even when he's gone, you know, people are still going to watch WWE. It's not going to change anything. Sure. But where big draws like him go, fans are sure to follow. There's going to be a lot of people that probably didn't give a shit about AEW that now we're going to tune in every single week because fucking the best in the world is back. You know what I mean? Like, that's a huge thing. I, you know, it's that's a big deal. God. I, are you good? Oh. Yeah. Um, shocked it started out the show. I think it was Same. a great to by Tony Khan. Um, I, I mean, in what capacity he's going to be used in is still a giant question mark. Um, and I'm already telling you now, Darby's going over it all out. And you guys are going to be mad. You're going to be upset. Um, oh, but if don't, put that, don't put that juju out there. Gonna be, then Darby Allen's going to gonna go over. I feel like Kyle's going for the reverse jinx here. Mm-mm. Uh, no, it's it's tricky though yeah. because they've built up Darby to be such like a you know a face uh, of AEW like across the board. So to like throw him into the you know throw him under the bus you know just because Punk's there. I mean, I say that like it's like an undermined thing, but the reality is is that like I don't know. I guess it depends on how many different things Darby keeps coughing dropping on, but Darby he's got a lot more miles left in than probably Punk. You know. Um. I think I think of the match as um, Hogan versus Rock from WrestleMania eight, eighteen. Um, you know, Darby Allen's an incredible talent. One's going to come in as the heel, obviously. One's going to come as the face. It's not going to matter. It's going to be a mutual respect thing in the end, which is why Punk beat the loss. I, I, I disagree one hundred percent. You know what I think? I think CM Punk. What they need at the top of the card is a heel. And I and I think that's that's it. he can do that better than I and mean, he he's a great face and in Chicago that's one thing but what better place for him to turn heel on uh, and and you know then you then you start a story it's not just a one and done so yeah I'll think, yeah it doesn't really make sense for him to run through Darby like that yep so I, there there is no story it's like oh you said that you can fight the best in the world being cryptic and hinting at the fact that I'm coming back. 
So let me squash you in a six minute match on a pay per view. I I don't think it's going to be a six minute match. I am actually fully anticipating this to be a twenty to thirty minute match. I just I, I just don't Allen, like the idea. Oh, good, good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was going to say Darby Allen is the perfect foil, honestly, for him to come back against. Uh, young upcoming talent who does have a lot of wins. I know a lot of us disagree with how heavily, how strong he is booked, uh, but he, he is booked that way. Um, he's young and he has all the excuses in the world on why he should lose to CM Punk at all out. Uh, he's going to make Punk look like a million bucks because Darby sells like a crazy man just trying to die. Mm-hmm. Um, and the second that Darby gets hit with the go to sleep, I won't be surprised if that dude does a backflip just because. <laughs> well, hey, let me like, put this out here because I just I'm informed of the fact that I watched the uh, punk best in the world on on shock before this, and part of that is from 2013. So that, but when he said that he went and this excuse he off and wanted to turn heel, he said he had a challenge for him, and he said, "What you talking about?" He said, "Yeah, I want to turn the heel," and he's like. Uh, I thought you said you had a challenge. He was like, if you think he's a good as a baby face, mm-hmm. he is um is next level. Because remember, like the straight edge society. Oh and- yeah, oh yeah. He 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 he's he's the best heel in this company right off right off the jump. But people forget. Well, a lot of people weren't watching back in the day. But people forget he signed his Ring of Honor. He signed his WWE contract on the Ring of Honor title. <laughs> is here's here's my question. No, remember it. Ring of Honor. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> what an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> punk, that punk, and you know, he, whatever, he cuts a promo, and then he spends like two more months in the company just talking him down. It was like it was a great. It was punk. yeah, yeah. It's like he does that better than anybody. So I'm just like, okay, comes in tonight, gets his baby face cheer, whatever, and if he's really back. Then I'm gonna see heel CM Punk. I, I was a. I, I, I was. A, oh, good, good, good. I, I I was just gonna say I don't know if you can ever turn him heel. Like, I, I think he will be. Like, I think you can play it up. I don't think the crowd is ever gonna turn on him. I think he is forever yeah. babyface now. Because <sighs> here's the thing: even when they turned him heel against Tina and The Rock, people were still cheering for him. I know he, my ass was. Oh, well, look at. Look, that promo at the beginning he starts cutting the promo like it's a professional wrestling promo and there's people booing him and by the end of the pipe bomb is when everybody's with him yeah so and then he cuts on them again he's like it's your fault too because you keep buying the programs and you keep buying the so you know yep. so it's that, that's believe me he, that that character is still in him. I don't know, man. Of course, yeah, I'm gonna cheer for him. I love cheering for the heels because I like the bad guys. Yeah, I think CM but, Punk is very yeah. much so in the um, anti-hero Stone Cold Steve Austin kind of phase here, where it didn't matter what Stone Cold did, whether he was a whether it was you know heelish tactics or if he was coming out to radiant cheers, like you know it. it it was it was just his character, and I feel like that's very much so what CM Punk is right now. So it doesn't matter what he does, what he says. Um, I th- I think he's in a state phase for a while. I just don't think you can turn him heel. Well, just who else could you turn him heel on? But Sting. I mean, do 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 do. I mean, you definitely can't turn him heel in Chicago. I mean, no. he's not going to be no. the heel at all. Out. Also, I really appreciate no. his immediate opening reference was to Britt Baker as well. That's a good shout out for Britt Baker, and I think a very well deserved moment for her. Yeah, um, and also just a great way to acknowledge that hey, home crowds want to cheer for home crowd people. I know that's a wild thought here, but. Rumor that that was a that they just said they had another announcement or what a big announcement coming up. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's a oh, you know. I mean, I mean, I, I'd argue Britt Baker's over than I mean, you guys watch more than me, but I mean, I, I, I'd argue Britt, Britt Baker's what mine is punk now, oh, second or third best, well, you know, like over, over, maybe, maybe, maybe one, like no, no later than two. He's pretty fucking over, and I don't really watch. 
And I, I, turned I, in, I, I, I mean, in the other just like, day right, like right now, yeah, not like over a long period of time, but I mean, like right now, she's probably two or one minus punk. She's at the very least the most over woman for sure. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. with the exception, there might be an exception. Thunder Rosa gets this crazy weird pop everywhere she goes. Right. Um, I think if they start giving Thunder Rosa more mic time, don't be surprised if she's up there as well. Um, but right now, yeah, Britt Baker has the biggest pop um, out of any female wrestler. And uh, God, Jeff, I gotta tell you, if you watch, show? I, if you watch the show, I said he had the Bret Hart in, in Canada pop last week. This is a heel, right? Supposedly. Mm-hmm. Not in Pittsburgh, she's not. And she's wearing the wears on her. He's he he doing the hometown thing, just like Bret Hart was a heel everywhere else. But when he was Canada, he was not a heel. No, yep, you're right about that. All right, yeah. we have a whole lot to discuss here, and I think I'm gonna have to be a jerk here and say, guys, we're gonna have to hold off until Monday's live show. Agreed. Uh, we have we have we have next gen coming on Monday. They can talk to us about CM Punk, and if we can get CM Punk to next gen, <laughs> would we have a petition? There. Uh, so with that, guys, we're going to probably see y'all real soon because uh, live shows, all of the other reaction shows coming out. Uh, if you like this, check out the description down below with all of the links. Check out our man, Tantalizing Tony. Uh, he's in Vegas already for SummerSlam. So everyone stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, don't get too crazy out there. It's not time to get too crazy yet. Oops. Uh, but <laughs> but <laughs> have yourself a safe weekend, and we'll see you on our live show on Monday with Next Gen Wrestling. Goodbye. Good night. Bang. There's my wait. Where's my stop record button? There's my stop record button. Bye. <laughs>